1970s movie challenge. Let's do this. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Vault. My name is Rob. Let's talk about movies. I'm back with a new type of movie challenge. This one is a purely 1970s movie challenge with some rules. Let's talk about those rules. The first movie I watch has to be a movie I've never seen before from the 1970s. The second movie has to be a best picture winner from the 1970s. Third movie has to be 150 plus minutes runtime from the 1970s. The fourth has to be a movie I've no interest in watching from the 1970s. And last but not least, the fifth movie has to be a foreign language movie from the 1970s. So to kick things off, a movie I have never seen from the 70s. I have just the one here in the collection, directed by Irvin Kirshner. This is The Eyes of Laura Mars. Also written by John Carpenter, a favorite of mine. Has a really cool cast, Faye Dunaway, Tommy Lee Jones, even Brad Dorif is in here as well. Let's stick it on and see what I think of this one. Okay guys, The Eyes of Laura Mars. Not a huge fan of this one. I'm not too sure about that twist at the end of the movie and it kind of lost me a little bit in the middle. I can see the John Carpenter-esque things happening uh, in the story or you know written by John Carpenter. I didn't love it. It is what it is. It's another one ticked off my watch list here and the first movie down in this movie challenge. I had to pick a best picture winner for the next movie so I went with 1978's The Deer Hunter. I have this here in the collection on 4K. This will also be a first time watch for me. So here's my thoughts on this one. So my thoughts on a first time watch of The Deer Hunter here guys. I kind of noticed about the 50 minute mark. We were still at this wedding. This is a very slow paced movie. The wedding is never ending in The Deer Hunter. I think we kind of get to around the 70 minute mark until we actually kind of go off to Vietnam. I will say I went into this thinking it was a kind of a war movie and I kind of feel like it's not really. It's more about the effects war has on the characters that are in the movie. My initial reaction to the Deer Hunter is it's a little bit overblown. It's a really long one guys, it's 184 minutes. I don't think it needs to be 184 minutes. It doesn't overly interest me. But that's another one down here in this challenge. Next one up, a movie that is 150 plus minutes. I went with my very first Andrei Tarkovsky movie in Solaris. It's part of this Andrei Tarkovsky collection Blu-ray box set that I have here. This one says it's a sci-fi movie. So here are my thoughts after watching Solaris for the very first time. We kind of get to about an hour in and we're only just getting to the space station. Uh, if that's what you want to call it in this one. It's a very slow paced movie. There was some sound effects that I thought I would mention here. There's like people walking, shots of people walking, but no sound or foley of footsteps. There are shots of traffic on a kind of a highway, but they're not really car sounds. They're kind of futuristic sounds. I kind of feel sometimes with these types of movies. I'm not sure what to make of it. It doesn't really feel like a sci-fi movie to me. Um, maybe in the plot and stuff, but the actual goings on of the movie, no. I really loved how part one is shot in black and white with this kind of blue tint to it. It was really, really interesting. And then part two has this kind of sepia brown tones to it. Really, really cool. I like the alien questioning whether she's real or not. I thought that was quite interesting in the movie. I kind of came away from Solaris sort of thinking, what's it all about? And am I missing something in watching this film? I'm not too sure. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on Solaris. A movie I've no interest in watching from the 70s is one I have had in the collection for a very long time, which is the reasoning behind it was a movie I'd no interest in watching. It's from 1979. It's a really, really nice looking collector's edition DVD box set of Monty Python's Life of Brian. I'm not a huge Monty Python fan. It's a lovely put together box set. It has the screenplay. It has a 35 mil film cell. It has postcards that I've never even opened. My reaction after watching this again as a first time watch was, 
it's very funny at the start. I was kind of surprised at how funny it was or, you know, the mood kind of took me. The middle, again, not so much. And the end I thought was quite funny. And it also has the always look on the bright side of life as the closing song. I didn't know that was from this movie. I know the song from years ago when I was a kid. But uh, 1979's Monty Python's Life of Brian was my choice for a movie of no interest in watching from the 70s. My choice for a foreign language movie from the 1970s, again from 1979, and once again we're delving back into this Andrei Tarkovsky collection box set. Another first time watch here for this challenge guys, this is Stalker. This movie came onto my radar through the Shudder series Cursed Films and kind of delved into the myth and the kind of all that backstory, the behind the scenes of the movie Stalker and that kind of piqued my interest and that's why I picked up this box set. So here are my thoughts on Stalker. Again, Tarkovsky goes for that monochrome, brown sepia look to the movie, which then jumps into color and it jumps back and forth, which I did like and I like that. It's kind of similar to Solaris that I mentioned a few minutes ago. The start didn't really interest me. The opening was kind of cool and they're trying to get into the zone and all that stuff is really, really cool. About one hour into the movie, it did pick up for me and I was really kind of interested from then on. Very long takes, continuous shots within this movie. The behind the scenes story of the movie is more interesting than the actual movie itself to me. And as I mentioned, that Shudder Cursed Films episode is really, really interesting if you don't know anything about the backstory to this movie. But that rounds up the kind of 70s movie challenge here and Stalker was my foreign language movie pick. Jump in, let me know what you think if you've seen this. Okay guys, there you have it. That was my five movies chosen for this 1970s movie challenge. I would love to hear from you guys. I want you to jump in the comments. Have you watched any of these movies I've talked about here in this video? Let me know what you think. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on those movies. Did I miss something? Did I hit it on the nail on the head? I don't know. You let me know. I want to talk to you guys about these movies. That's going to do it for this video, guys. If you would like to support the Movie Vault, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Stay safe and I'll talk to you guys on the next video.